Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Donnie Ray, and I wanted to do something special for the holiday season, so I decided to do Donnie Ray's 12 Days of Slay. It will be 12 days where I do some holiday glam looks for you guys that are perfect for this holiday season. So, first things first, I'm going into my Morphe 3502 palette, and I am taking this light brown color. It moves so fast that I couldn't see the name, girl. So, I don't know the color, you just saw the color though. And I'm using my fluffy brush to use in my crease to lay this down as my transition color. For your transition color, you always want to use like a barely there shade. So it'll be easy for all your other colors to blend into. Transition colors are fundamental when you want to blend out super dark colors. It makes, you, it, makes it easier to blend out those edges. And I forgot to say, you guys, that I already primed my eyes. I use my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Fawn as um, my base, and I set it with my Sasha Buttercup. And now I'm just going into the second color that I'm using as a, you know, transition number two color. I don't know what to call it. And I'm just using that to add more definition. Now I'm taking heat and I'm placing that closer to my crease and I'm using a fluffy brush to blend that out as well. And heat was literally used to warm up my eye so that I can prep myself for this crease color. And the crease color that I'm using is in the color fire and I'm placing that directly into my crease with the same fluffy brush and I'm just blending that out as usual. And once I get that blended out to my liking, I go back into that first color that I laid down, which I believe was terracotta, correct me if I'm wrong, and I just blend that, use that to blend out um, the edges. Now I'm going into the color Rich, which is a chocolatey brown color, and I'm using that to define my outer V. What's a holiday look without a little drama, right? And then I'm just taking this fluffy brush with barely anything on there and I'm just using it to make sure that everything flows together. The way to slay all of your holiday looks this season is just to make sure you blend everything out. Now I'm going into Muddy just to add a little bit more depth to my outer V. I didn't want to use such a harsh color as black so I felt like muddy was the perfect color to use to deepen my crease without making it super super dark and super super harsh so I really enjoyed the different types of browns that they had in this palette and now I'm taking my LA girl pro concealer in the color cool tan and I'm just using this flat concealer brush to carve out my half cut crease and the trick to doing this is be patient and do it section by section so that way you have control over your brush and where the concealer is going and just make sure you blend it out so that it's nice and smooth and then I'm using this color bronzy as my lid color and also as a setting powder for that concealer and for this step I'm just patting it into the concealer that way the concealer doesn't budge and you get great color payoff. 
Now I'm going into the color pure, which is a gold color. And I am using that in the center of my eye to add a little drama and dimension to my lid color. And then I'm going into braids and I'm just making sure everything blends seamlessly from one color to the next. And then I'm taking the color Zippy, which is also a bronzy color, and I'm just using that to transition my lid color into that outer V color. And now for the wing liner, I'm using my e.l.f. cream eyeliner in the color Jet Black. And I'm taking this, I believe it's an Inglot brush, I'm not sure. And I'm just really taking my time with this eyeliner because this is my second time doing this eye. I messed up the first time because of the winged eyeliner, so I was super duper nervous. <laughs> so yeah, just be careful whenever you're winging it out. And this is the finished look, and I decided to do the other one off camera to save a little time. And now I'm just going back into my concealer, and I'm taking that to kind of clean up the edges of this eyeshadow look because you want it to be nice and crisp. Some people use tape. I've never used tape. I always just this little concealer trick to get um, nice, clean, and smooth edges. And I forget the name right now, but I'm using these Tardius, um eyelashes and just the way they look I forget the name of them but I will have them down in the description box and then I am just going back into the same colors that I use in my um, crease and I'm just beefing up my waterline and smoking it out And now I'm taking my Tarte Eyeliner Felt Tip Pencil and I'm just creating some dots on my lower lash line because I wanted to do individual lashes but I was like cutting it short for work. So I just made some dots to give the illusion that I had fuller lashes on my lower lash line. And then I'm taking my um, Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and just going over my lashes with that and really just accentuating my lashes by moving the mascara back and forth so that I can get a even coat and a thick coat. And I'm just taking a black pencil by e.l.f. I believe and I'm just placing that into my waterline like so. I really didn't know what color I wanted to do with this look, so I decided to keep it neutral, and I opted to go with my NYX Slim Lip Pencil in the color Coco, and I'm just using that to outline my lips, creating a slight cupid bow for myself because, as you guys know, I don't really have one, so I overlined just a tad, and then I grabbed my Dose of Colors Desert Suede, and I'm placing that all over my lips like so. And then I'm just smudging it out so that it can create a slight ombre. And I haven't really been feeling matte lately and I felt like this look would be perfect and a nice feminine touch to this look would be some gloss. So I went into my NYX Intense Butter Gloss in the color Cinnamon Roll and I love this look combo. And so you guys, this is the finished look. Well, no, I lied. So I decided to go back into that gold pure color and I'm just placing that into my 
inner tear ducts area y'all i almost forgot to do my inner tear ducts like can you believe that like donnie ray like get your life together girl so yeah i knew i was missing something so i went back into that gold and just placed that right into my inner tear duct to brighten up the eye and then i thought i was done but at the last moment i decided that i needed a little more drama on my lower lash line So I went into this matte black color called Wiz and I just beefed up the outer part of my lower lash line to add a little more smokiness and a little more drama. It's the holiday season so a little drama ain't gonna hurt nobody, right? So yeah, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy 12 Days of Slay. And if you do, please leave me a comment down below. Share this with a friend. Don't forget to subscribe if you aren't subscribed. And join the Diamond Ray fam. And go ahead and check out some of my previous videos. If you want to stick around for a while. Thank you so much for watching. See you tomorrow.